Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Roy L. Winchester Gymnasium in the home of the 8th Region here in the heart of Henry County, Kentucky. And we are in for a treat tonight. We're less than a minute away to tip here in your Henry County Wildcats taking on the South Oldham Dragons. Welcome you to the broadcast booth here uh, to Mr. Luke McGee. Jackson Scriber has the night off. We're going to miss Scriber here tonight. This is the last WSEN broadcast of the regular season for the boys and girls basketball season. Before we get started to our initial thoughts and get you connected to the game here, we're going to bring you down to the court as the Henry County Junior ROTC presents the colors for the playing of our national anthem. National anthem played by your very own Henry County pep section. The Witt brothers, among others. So, as the colors leave the court, I'm going to turn it over to Luke McGee. Luke, uh, heck of a second half of the season here from the Wildcats. 17 and 12 now, a winning record, 5 plus 500. How the heck did we get here? Seems like just a while ago we were 7 and 9. Teamwork and selfless play. The teams really came together and started playing well. They're on a two-game win streak right now, beating Walden for senior night on Monday night and then beating Trimble County the following night over at the Raiders' homeland on Tuesday night. Of course, Trevor Harden, a big part of that uh, story, key player in Henry County, uh, both in the scoring column but also rebounding column. He's really shown up this year. Uh, we'll be back with the, with the Wildcats here in a second. Just in terms of your starting lineups for the South Oldham Dragons, they're going to start uh, number 34, Mr. Michael, at uh, power forward. Johnson, number 44, at post. Cranfill, number 12, at wing. King, number 11, as their point guard. And Stragan, wearing number zero to start. And for your Henry County Wildcats, despite some illness plaguing the team tonight, they're going to start with number 14, Kevin Wicks. He's a sophomore. He plays guard for your Wildcats. Another six-foot junior in this case. It's Will Payton, number 10. We got a 6'5 junior. Again, as we mentioned in the earlier part of the broadcast, that's Trevor Harden, leading rebounder, and certainly puts up his fair short of, uh, share of points as well. Ryan Phillips, the senior on the bench here, number 24, power forward, key player. 
And not to be denied, number two in white, Ethan Lankford. Again, Lankford feeling a little under the weather tonight, but hasn't stopped the greats in the past. So this is Lankford's, we'll call it, sick game. And let's see what he can do. So back to, to you, Luke. We talked a little bit about uh, Henry County, but tough matchup tonight. Uh, the Dragons are tough. They're 20 and 8. They're, of course, led by uh, well known coach Stephen Simpson. He's KHSAA boys basketball coach. Uh, he, he's been here for a long time. They're ranked fourth in the eighth region. Your thoughts about uh, South Oldham here, Luke? I mean, tonight he's have. He's at an absence, which is number 24, Luke Morrison for South Oldham, who was the eighth region player of the year last year. This season he was the runner-up for eighth region player of the year. But overall they have a great team shooting-wise. They average 41% from the three-point line, and they have ten players averaging above 10% from the three. This is staggering numbers from behind the arc. Quick two points there by Stragan to get the Dragons on the board first. They're up to nothing with 7.30 to play here in the first quarter. Wicks and Langford in the backcourt. Peyton runs Wicks off. Little 1 4 high set here. And good, strong pressure defense from the Dragons. Harden Peyton with a good take in. He's going to go to the line for two. Surprised they didn't call that on the ground, but I guess they're going to get him the active shooting. It's going to be on number 11, Jason King, for the South Oldham Dragons. So King's first foul, Dragon's first team foul, and Trevor Harden to the line to shoot two. He's a 63% free throw shooter on the season, and he misses his first. And he misses his second, and the Dragons come down with the rebound. Quick transition offense here from the Dragons early on. But the Wildcats are there defensively, and I'm still waiting for that first three ball to go up here for the Dragons. Yeah. Good ball movement here from South Oldham. And be careful what you wish for, T. Lee. That's a travel. He walked. Looked like he got some extra contact there, according to the stripes. Looks like they're going to pin that one on Lankford, his first, team first. Boy, I thought he took an extra step there. Yep before any kind of contact. A little out of control towards the basket, but as Scriber would say, you can't take them home with you. And the stripes get the better of the Wildcats early in the first. Especially can't take them home in the first quarter, so. Nice up and under there from Johnson, and that puts the Dragons up 4 nothing quickly with 6.40 to play in the first quarter here at the Winchester Gymnasium in home of the 8th region. Kevin Wicks guarded close by King for the South Oldham Dragons. Going to be cut. some contact there, but Phillips gets around, puts a shot up, no good. So Phillips a little off the mark. Peyton, good transition defense. Harden going to go up with a little bit of contact from King, but he's going to finish strong at the rim on the left side. Cuts the deficit to a 4-2 lead for South Oldham. And there's those three-pointers you were waiting for, Mr. Teeley. Stragan hits his first three ball. They're one for one so far, 100% from behind the arc. Six to play, six minutes to play. The first quarter, 7-2. Dragons lead the Wildcats. Nice backdoor cut from Peyton. Good strong move underneath, but can't get that one to go. And Peyton misses his first of the night. Boy, South Oldham moves the ball so well. It's unbelievable. Another three ball there from Stragan. Back-to-back -back threes, and the Dragons are up 10-2. I mean, McGee, they just, the ball, they're so selfless. Yep. Good ball movement from the South Oldham Dragons here. Phillips looks down to Harden and decides, Harden passes back to Langford, decides to kind of start this possession over. Wildcats struggling to find that first quarter spark here. Wicks going to pull a quick one to get that to go. Kevin Wicks with his first three. Wildcats first three of the night. And cuts the Dragon lead in half, 10 to 5. That three ball off the mark. And the Dragons now two for three from behind the arc. And Langford gives it back up to Wicks to set up the offense here. 
Still strong. Five man to man here from the Dragons. Langford, Langford. kind of a step there back go. for Eval. <laughs> Langford's not letting any sickness stop him this evening. Langford, little step back three ball. Those two threes from Wicks and Langford answer Stranglin's two threes from the two previous possessions down the court for the Dragons. And we've got a close matchup, 10-8. to eight. We'll be back in just a second on the Wildcat Sports Entertainment Network. Thanks for being with us. Welcome back to the Wildcat Sports and Entertainment Network. We're live here at the Royal Winchester Gymnasium in the heart of Henry County, Kentucky, home of the 8th region at Henry County High School. And the Wildcats currently trail by two to a very strong South Oldham team. Oh, good look right there. Finds Jason King, but he's going to miss that shot right there. Boy, that was nicely drawn up by Coach Simpson, and the Wildcats got away with one there. Backdoor cut to Harden, Harden. Nice Harden with a good reverse right there. Do a 180 on him, big fella. And almost a near steal there from Lankford. And the energy has picked up in the Winchester. Trevor Harden with his fourth point of the night. He's two for two. And the Wildcats tie the ball game. Four minutes to play in the first quarter. Three ball open. It's going to be there all night if you give him that much space. It looks like they got a little bit of a close out there, but he had too much time. <sighs> Barely saves that ball from going out. Wicks tries to find Harden on the cut, but throws it a little too short. And another two ball here for the Dragons. They go up quickly, 15-10. It's going to be Seth Johnson finding the bottom of the basket right there. Seth Johnson wears 44 in black. Tough to see tonight uh, with the barely multicolored jerseys. Seth, he scores 18 and a half points a game. Give it up. Jeez. Big push there from Stragand, and the ball is going to stay here underneath the hoop to Langford. 324 to play. First quarter, 15-10. Your Wildcats trail by five. Langford wanted that ball a little bit earlier, and as a result, a little off the mark. So Langford misses his first three of the night. He's one for two, and they're going to get Trevor Harden. I'm trying to fall. call an aggressive foul right there on Harden. At least that's what the south side's looking for, but that was, I'd say that's 50-50. Maybe a little extra contact from Harden, but just fighting for the ball, hustle play. So your Wildcats trail five, 315 to play. They're still in their strong five. And Peyton got beat down low, makes up for it with the block. Trevor's got to be careful with that first foul. And nearly picks up his second. Three ball there from they Stragan again. Stragan seems to keep finding a way to get open. Somebody's slipping off of their man or something, not paying attention to him, but he's going to make us pay. 18-10, Dragons lead. Ryan Phillips, good body down low. Can't quite have the touch, but they're going to call a foul, and Ryan's going to go to the line to shoot two. That foul on Cranfield for the Dragons. That's their third team foul, his first personal foul. And Ryan Phillips goes to the line to shoot two. Phillips is 65% free throw shooter on the night, on the season, check that, and one for one tonight. Miggy, we're uh, nearly six minutes into this first quarter. Wildcats hanging in their trail by seven. The uh, Dragons have four three-pointers already. And Phillips gets his second, and Josiah Montero will check into the ballgame for Kevin Wicks. Your thoughts, Miggy, as we try to keep battle with these South Oldham Dragons? Put a man on the Dragon. Yeah. Made him pay all night long. What does he have? Is it four threes? It's a walk. Now? Another extra step given to Johnson yet again. Nice give and go, but Trevor Harden reads that play, and the Wildcats reset defensively. 
Good trap there in the corner. Another three ball, and Cranfield hits his three-pointer south. Oldham five for six from the three-point line tonight. We talked about it at the top of the hour. We, we said 43% at the start, and right now they're five for six. What's that about? A Oh! Hardin was looking for that dunk right there. Didn't get it to go, but would have been amazing if he did. Oh, my gosh. Ryan Phillips wish gets his fourth point of the night. He tries to pull and will his. Oh, man, I wish Wildcats we could have saw that one. Back within seven. Three ball missed that time. And Trevor Harden comes down. As we talked again at the top of the hour about Trevor, I mean, he's an offensive force uh, scoring points, but, man, he gets a heck of a lot of rebounds for the Wildcats as well. Looks like Langford's going to draw a foul right there, and that's it's going to be on Seth Johnson, number 44 for the South Oldham Dragons. It's going to be his first, team fourth. Langford finds Phillips. Phillips looking to Oof, nearly get rid of it from somewhere. Yeah, they're going to get oh, Ryan Phillips on the push. That's a good call. That's yeah. a good call. So Ryan Phillips got caught teeter-tottering over that half-court line and didn't want to give up the over and back. Gave Montero a tough ball to handle. And uh, I think he actually saved a pretty easy two points there yeah. with that foul. Th third team foul there for the Wildcats. Good defense by Montero. Fellas are in a man-to-man -man right now. Harden seems to be giving a little bit of space to his man. Probably does not want to do that again. Cranfield was off three. Langford transition two. And the Wildcats hanging in there. 21-16, minute to play in the first quarter. Dragons lead. Cranfield and Strangand. We got a walk. Yes. Turnover on South Oldham. As McGee mentioned at the, at the top of the broadcast, Luke Morrison, number 24, a senior for the Dragons, not playing tonight. He averages 20 points a game. He's got over 550 points this season. Seth Johnson then becomes their leading scorer with 18 and a half a game. He averages almost seven rebounds a game. So he and Trevor Harden almost cancel each other out. So the question mark is, can Langford have the game that he had against South Oldham last year? 40 points. Big substitutions in for the Wildcats. Loose ball. And Smart play by Wicks right there. Waited for the South player to save it. Montero passes up the three. Quick little touch good pass. Good look to Peyton right there. Good, good court vision by Montero right there. Dropping dimes, ladies and gents. Montero with his first assist of the night and Peyton with his first points of the night. Three ball off the mark there for the Dragons. And Trevor Harden comes down with another one. It's always a nail biter when South's going for a three. Picked up the dribble there, caught in some pressure, and Montero. Oh, second there, I thought Peyton was going to get it up on target. So Will Peyton misses what was a prayer, and I'm impressed. 21-18, the Wildcats are holding off the sharp shooting Dragons from South Oldham. First one's in the book, and though we trail by three, it's been a heck of a game. Thanks for being with us here on the Wildcats Sports and Entertainment Network. We'll be back with you and our thoughts on the first quarter and what to expect in the second when we come back. Welcome back to Henry County High School, home of the 8th region in the Roy L. Winchester Gymnasium. And, folks, we've got a tight one tonight. We're going into the second quarter. Wildcats trail by three, 21-18 to South Oldham. McGee, your thoughts on the first quarter? Henry County kept it close. They played good, played solid. But on the defensive side of things, they got to look to restrict that three-point line more for South Oldham as South Oldham as they've hit five of nine threes and just can't give them them open looks because that's where they will kill from. They're deadly shooters. Passes up a three ball there. 
Good jump ball call, Sam Royalty, though the possession stays here with the Dragons. Simpson upset with his team spacing. And the Wildcats now will get possession after this in ball on the west. Three ball, South Oldham. Oh. Well, just too much there for Sam Royalty. Forcing it. Seven thirty-seven to play, 24-18. Wildcats trail and a turnover there for Henry County. They should have got like a darker or a brighter shade of green on their jerseys for their numbers. A little more difficult to. Good pass there by Kevin Wicks, but Trevor Harden can't handle that. And another <laughs> turnover. Those are costly. You cannot have those in this game. Dragons get the ball again, 24-18, 7.20 to play, second quarter. Montero, Wicks, Harden, Royalty, and Langford on the court, and White for the Cats to start this second quarter. Good defense by Ethan Langford. Passes up another three and a strong take to the basket by Michael. Henry County seems to just be forcing it right now. First thing they see, force it. I'm sure Coach Welch is going to want them to slow things down a little bit here. As I say that, Wicks is going to slow it down, dribble it at the top of the key. Good strong take by Kevin Wicks. It'll up and under for two. <laughs> Got to love those Kevin Wicks fancy layups. Six thirty-five to play. Another three ball. Can't Another leave. Make. Can't leave Seth Johnson open right there. Number forty-four for South Oldham. He's averaging forty-four percent from the three-point line this season. Seven for twelve from behind the arc tonight, shooting well above fifty percent and well above their forty-five percent average on the season. We knew it was going to happen, McGee, but boy, can they shoot! Good pivot there by Langford, strong take, and uh, Stragan trying to get under Langford's skin there. Checking in for the South Oldham Dragons, Nick Cranfill, senior guard, number 12. So Stragan takes a seat. That's his second personal foul, 15 foul on the Dragons. Oh, Wicks is shooting that. Ah. Can't get it to go, and Kevin Wicks. Misses his second three-pointer of the night. Good look by Wicks there. Can't be afraid to shoot it in this game because three is worth more than two, and you definitely got to make up for the three balls that South Oldham is going to be hitting this evening. Johnson shot rims out, 5.43 to play, 29-20. Cats need a bucket here to cut into this lead halfway through the second quarter. Good strong take by Langford. Good. Langford showing him how to get it done on the inside. Langford, 20 points a game, five rebounds a game. Recently scored his 1,000th point Monday night against Walden. Langford's got seven on the night. Ooh, strong Ooh. block by Sam Royalty. Sam Royalty putting all human life to the side right there. Royalty with a sweet block. Montero slows things up here. The Wildcats, five minutes to play second quarter. Nice pass, good feed to the post, good finish. <laughs> kind of bobbled the ball right there for a second there. Got me scared. Harden's got six, Wildcats trail five. And a missed three ball there. Rare miss for Michael and the Cats back in transition. Still seven for 13 tonight from the three-point line are the Dragons. Motion offense here. Wicks will pull up jumper. Got Good it. Good shot right there from Wicks. Wicks three for four tonight, seven points. And he wills his Wildcats within three. Montero gambles, and the gamble does not pay off. And that's another free ball for the Dragons. I think it's the help defense, McGee, the help <laughs> I'm defense. I'm getting nauseous from seeing all these South Oldham threes. Just don't have enough time to recover. 
They'll close out, and they're getting easy open three-point shots. Good so strong take it's by been Nike. a risk-reward situation all night. Sometimes when they pull off for that help defense, it's paid off, and other times it's been just biting us. So Langford goes to the line to shoot two, an 83% free throw shooter. If anyone you want at the line, it's number two in white. And he gets his first. Brennan Graves and Will Potts check in. As Sam Royalty and Montero check out. <laughs> And Langford gets his second. Cats trail four, 340 to play in the second quarter. South Oldham opens up the court, good spacing. He walked, but passes up. Another three ball. And Can't. Michael. Defensive confusion right there. So turnover on Wicks there, 35-28. Dragons lead, they're nine of 15 from the three-point line, McGee, nine of 15 tonight. If you wanna say it a third time, it'll probably make me feel even more sick <laughs> at the fact of how good of a shooting team they are. And another three ball that time off the mark, but can't come down with the rebound. And the Cannot Dragons lose reset. those rebound battles. You have to come down with those because it gives them those second chance points just like that right there. They will punish us on those second chance points. Johnson puts up two more and he puts his Dragons up 37-28. Nine point deficit for the Wildcats here with three to play in the second quarter. Need to make a little run here for the boys in white to keep this one interesting. Potts, Wicks, Langford, Brandon Graves, sharpshooter from behind the arc. And Trevor Harden on the court. Trevor's played all the minutes tonight so far. Hasn't had a break. Looks a little winded. But still good movement and spacing. Long 40-footer. <laughs> Splash! Langford getting it to go from deep. Ethan Langford may as well have been standing on the half-court line for that one. Good, good selfless Charge! Play. Good Will Potts display. taking the contact right there. Offensive foul, that's the sixth team foul for the Dragons. And Will Potts, having only played a couple of minutes, comes up with a huge play with 2.20 to play. Cats down six after Langford's 40 Oh, good three. look right there from Langford. Thought Wicks and Harden there would have had a two-on-one, yeah. but Wicks dribbled too far into Harden and didn't get spacing. Wicks gets to go. So Kevin Wicks has got nine points in the night. He's four of five from the field. Super, super efficient basketball. Nearly turnover there. Good give no. and go. Selfless basketball. Oh. And the three ball off the mark there for... Sigh of relief right there as that three ball goes off the mark. So the Dragons back in transition defense, and your Cats trail by four. Wicks, of course, last time down the court, had a good, strong finish. Ah, he turns the ball over. Good defense there by the Dragons. I don't even know if Wicks touched that last as, as it was rolling out of bounds, but good hustle by him to chase after it. I think you're right, McGee, but but uh, King got the best of Wicks on that possession. Yeah, good defense right there from number 11, Jason King. As he is on the offensive end, finding the good look, but the shot's no good. There he is shooting it now. King's not going to get it to go. Re uh, rebound by Lankford. Got it in transition. Minute 15 to play, four-point lead. Lankford strong to the hoop. You're going to get him for a block. Two shots. Good Euro step right there by Langford. If he took that head on, that was more than likely going to be a charge. But he got the side of the man, so he got the best of him as he tried to slide over. With Stragan and King missing those two threes, things start to balance themselves out a bit more. Nine of 19, still shooting over nearly 50% from the three-point line. And Langford misses, uncharacteristic of him to miss his third free throw of the night. Not that he missed his third, but this is his third and he missed it. <laughs> He's still two for three from the line. 
and he gets his second. That's the Langford we know. 37-34, three-point lead. The Dragons may slow this one up, and they choose to go right into transition. That three ball off the mark. Nine of 20 now from behind the arc, and the Cats can tie it up. One possession ball game. Good handles there from number two. Oh, but Langford looks like he's going to draw a lot of side contact there, but it's going to be a no caller. Good, good defense and transition right there, but it looks like they're going to get number 11 for Henry County, Josiah Montero, with a little bit extra contact on that play. So that's going to be number zero, Tib Stragon, going to the line for two for South Oldham. So Montero's first, Cats' fourth team foul, and Stragon hits his first from the line. 38-34. I'm sure Welch would love to go into halftime here down one, if at most, two possessions. Dragon gets his second. 39-34, 45 to play. Langford thought about it. Decides better and pulls it back out. 36 to play. Montero, Graves, strong move by Josiah Montero. And he gets the foul called. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Clay's first foul. That's the ninth team foul on the Dragons. So either way, whether in the act of shooting or on the ground, for the last 30 seconds, the Wildcats are in the double bonus. Montero gets the first one to go right there. Montero's first point of the night. Pulls his Wildcats within four. And Peyton check, yeah, set to check into the game for the Cats. There's a second one for Montero. Peyton in for the Cats. Graves takes a seat. 32 seconds to play. 39-36. One possession basketball game. You'd expect a patient offensive set. They're not going to hold. And the Dragons back up by five. Too easy. Too easy for the Dragons. And Coach Welch calls the Wildcats back for the final shot. Ten seconds to play. Second quarter, they trail five. Langford with five, four. Lang five. Langford with the good look to Harden right there as Harden gets the and one. Trevor Harden, eighth point of the night, goes to the line to convert the old-fashioned three-point play in honor of Jackson Scriber. And the Cats could pull within two with three seconds to play in the second quarter. Ah. Harden left that one a little Harden short. gets his own rebound, and he's going to get it to go right there. Great hustle play. Harden gets his 10th point of the night. Cats trail one to a strong, sharp shooting South Oldham Dragons team. 41-40. We'll be back with the call of the second half here on the Wildcats Sports and Entertainment Network. We're live here, home of the 8th region at Henry County High School. Home of the Henry County Wildcats, the Roy L. Winchester Gymnasium in the heart of Henry County, Kentucky. We'll be back in just a bit. Thanks for being with us.
Oh, he's very simple. Half court shot. There he goes.
Mr. Gymnasium here at Henry County High School in the home of Henry County, Kentucky, home of the 8th region. Just got a chance to talk with Coach Welch. I said, Welch, you're, you know, boys are 9 of 20 from 3 over there from South Oldham. You're down 1. How? He said, look, they're, we're letting them play their game and you know, try to shoot their way out of it, and they're giving them the lane and the drive, and and uh, the Wildcats are able to play their basketball game. Nice selfless offensive basketball play. So 30 seconds before the buzzer here, McGee, to you. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Coach Welch. 40-41, how? What are the Wildcats doing? Just good teamwork. They're finding the correct shots. I mean, and they're getting to the free throw line, too. They've shot nine more free throws than South has, so that's a big contribution. And they're 50% from the three-point line, so that's always solid. And they've minimized themselves to only three team fouls in the first half. Very phenomenal number right there. Good efficient basketball from the Wildcats here in the first half against South Oldham. Langford's got 13, Harden's got 10. Kevin Wicks with nine points tonight, McGee. Kevin, nah, yet to be denied. and Definitely going to be an elite player in the future. Already is right now. He's a standout as it is as a fresh or a sophomore. Excuse me. Wicks and Royalty. The two sophomores playing good minutes for the Wildcats. Langford, Harden, Phillips, Peyton, and Wicks, your starting five in the second half. They were your starting five in the first. And with Wildcat possession, they have a chance to take the lead here. Good patient offensive basketball set here, looking for an efficient shot. Langford with a strong jab step. He decides to back it out. Good patient offense here. Haven't really found the right look, and there they find it as I speak. Harden with a good shot. Langford with the even better pass. 12th point for Trevor Harden, and the Cats are up 42-41. That hurt. Long three ball. Teen can't get it to go, and Harden comes down with the rebound. Just like Welch told you, they're trying to find a way to shoot themselves out of this close game, and they just can't seem to get it go lately. Another strong rebound from number 25 in white. And he's close to nearing his rebounding mark for the season at eight and a half a game. Ryan Phillips wins that hustle battle, kicks it to Langford. Langford passes up the long three, takes a step in, but he's... Wakes the little man getting the rebound. Just off the mark. And the Cats maintain possession, 6.30 to play. No rush here, still looking for that high efficient shot. Wick strong to the hoop. With a, could have gone left there. I think he chose to go right. Found himself a little bit out of position. Stragon's got the open three. He's not going to get it. They're going to find an open three with Seth Johnson right there, and he's going to get it to go. Dragons back up by two with a score of 44 42. So, first three ball missed, second one made. And as McGee said, two point lead for the Dragons. South Oldham 10 of 23 now from behind the arc, 30 of their 42. It's like watching a Duke Blue Devils basketball game. Peyton nearly turns it over. Wicks double, almost dribbles into a double team there, and Langford decides to reset it. It's going to stay here. Phillips a little bit of pressure on him right there. It's going to be... Wildcat ball here. 5.35 to play, 44-42. Cats up two, or trail two to the Dragons. Lankford for three. Ah, off the mark. Contested shot, couldn't get it to go. Got to make it back up on the defensive side now. Johnson traveled, he walked. Well, the officials will make it back up for him on the defensive side. Stripes are going to catch him walking the dog right there. Another turnover there for the... Dragons and the Cats have a chance to even this score yet again. 5.20 to play, 44-42. No fouls yet in the second half. And we're nearing the halfway mark of the third quarter. Ooh, Harden was wide open. Yeah. Good well, feed. Lankford's going to find Harden. Harden with a big dunk. Show him how it's done, big fella. Hang 10. Trevor Harden ties this basketball game up and brings a little life into the student section and to the Wildcat crowd. But, ooh, off the mark there. 
Seth Johnson almost got the rebound, couldn't get it off. Harden's going to come down at the bottom of the pile with it. And it looks like the officials are giving a push on Dragon right there. Simpson a little upset there. But the energy and momentum with the Cats. And Stragan goes and takes a seat after that personal foul, the first team foul of the second half. Cats tie the game 44 44, 440 to play, third quarter. And there's just nothing that pulls out the best basketball from the Cats than a game from a rival like South Oldham. Great press break. And the Cats now reset up 2 3. Trap at the top. Wicks has went right into that. Turnover, easy finish. And the Dragons up by two. Went right where they wanted him to go there. And Wicks turned the ball over. Good look down low. Harden was open. Phillips would have seen just behind him. And good hustle play there, but just not quite enough. And the Cats maintained possession. Cranfield almost had that and swung possession back to his Dragons. But the Cats luck out. Whew, another trap at the top. And Coach Welch wants to talk about it. He wants to figure out how to break the 2-3 press there too. We'll be back, four minutes to play, third quarter, 46-44 on the Wildcats Sports and Entertainment Network. Thanks for being with us. Welcome back to the Roy L. Winchester Gymnasium here at Henry County High School, home of the 8th region in the heart of Henry County, Kentucky. And Coach Welch needed to drop a little strategy to face this new South Oldham look. Wow, Trevor Hart oh. way up to get that. <laughs> Trevor Hart showing the hops again right there. He climbs the ladder. He's got 16. And the Dragons with a quick and easy bucket to answer. 48, 46, 340 to play. Dangerous pass. Good look from Harden. Phillips passes up the easy layup. Makes it, get it harder to go. himself and gets it to go. 48, 330 to play. Cats and Dragons trading blows here in Henry County. They're going to get Wicks on a pesky foul right there. Looks like he is being a little too handsy right there. That's Good Kevin's defensive pressure, though. Kevin's first foul, Cat's first team foul of the second half. And Johnson throws up a prayer. And Trevor Harden with another rebound. Cat's tied up 48 48, 315 to play in the third. Langford, Wicks, Phillips, Payton. And a lot of blood from oh. Johnson. And so the officials ask him to leave the court. We need a sub here. I'm, not, I'm really unsure of when that would have occurred. Maybe scratched on the head by somebody. So Johnson takes a, a jog off the court. And the Cats reset. 3.09 to play, 48-48. Third quarter, eighth region matchup here at Henry County. Harden and Langford play a little keep away from the Dragons. And Langford is just so smart with the basketball. Wicks has got to get rid of it. He's going to draw the foul right there. Smart play from Wicks here. I'd like to see Kevin make that decision a little sooner. He, he kind of paints himself yeah. into a box there and gets himself into some trouble. I think that comes with a little bit of uh, experience at the varsity level and a little bit of age. You see Langford's really good about that. Dangerous pass there, but Wicks is able to come up with it. And here comes the trap again. They're not going to dribble through it. 
But Wix will dribble through it on the other hand and draw the foul. Third team foul for the Dragons in the second half. We're still nutted up here at 48, 48, 250 to play in the third quarter. And had a lot of scoring in the third quarter. And if it were, it was a blow to blow match. And Langford, again, see, he's careful not to dribble, it, uh, dribble into that double team. Wix is. Swings it to Peyton. Peyton to Phillips. Dangerous pass there from Peyton. And the Cats turn the ball over. Oh, nice Wicks with the good defense. Great anticipation. Going to get the finish. pump fake as the man's jumping on top of his back. Wicks has got 11, and he puts his Cats up. Wicks again. again. Take him to the promised land, Kevin. Simpson's going to call a timeout right there. Wicks' defense and offense right there is going to be too much heat for him to handle. 52-48, Cats lead, 2.18 to play the third on the Wildcats Sports and Entertainment Network. We'll be back in a bit. Welcome back to Henry County High School, the Roy L. Winchester Gymnasium in the home of the 8th region. McGee. Yeah. The Cats. Great transition basketball. Good anticipation by a sophomore, Kevin Wicks. He's got 13 on the night. Checking my stats, unofficial. He's just shy of Harden's 16 for the second leading score. Three ball off the mark there for the Dragons. And right now, your Cats have the momentum and the four-point lead. Kevin Wicks, he really got it going right there. South Oldham has dropped out of that too high uh, hard, pressure. Harding going to get the ball stripped right there. It looks like they're going to leave him completely wide open. No Off good. Mark. Harden with the rebound. So Michael off the mark there for the Dragons. Dragons now 10 of 25. They've gotten one three to go in the second half, and as Welch said, they're going to let them play their game. That is them being the Dragons, and the Cats are going to play theirs. Ryan Phillips, good patience, good strong finish. Good look by Phillips right there. Phillips puts the Cats up six, 115 to play in the third. And I Good think Trevor defense. had a piece of that. Got Good the block. defense right there by Harden. And he comes down with the rebound. Trevor's got to have a double-double at this point. We're late in the third quarter. Minute to play, 54-48. And the Cats taking pride in their home court. Langford, good strong move. He's going to draw the foul on the floor right there. Cranfield's going to be called for the body. And that's going to be his second, fourth team foul of the second half. 52 seconds to play, 54-48. Cats lead. Good look down low. Trevor Harden, too much. <laughs> Oops, it off the stats. backboard to himself is how we'll say that God went rest down. rest in peace, Kobe Bryant play there for <laughs> Harden. And he puts his Cats up 56-48. Long three ball. King's going to get it to go for the Dragons. This, this team is just too too quick to score, 56-51. 30 seconds to play. Wicks and Peyton, Harden, Langford, and Phillips starting five of the second half still on the court. Haven't come off here in the third at all. And Langford going to hold for the final shot of the third quarter. 13 to play. Wicks nearly pickpocketed there, and he gives it up. Good defensive play there by the Dragons, and Wicks almost got a touch foul there. Lucky they didn't call that. Time runs out on the Wildcats in the third quarter, but a strong third quarter it was. They're up 56-53, and there's eight minutes to play in this eighth region matchup. Dragons trail three, your Cats up three. We're going to bring in the last eight minutes when we come back on the Wildcats Sports Entertainment Network. Thanks for being with us.
Welcome back to Henry County High School, Roy L. Winchester Gymnasium, and the final Wildcat Sports and Entertainment Network live broadcast here of the boys and girls basketball seasons. We're in a nail biter here. It's 56 53 with eight minutes to play. McGee, your thoughts on how the Cats have not only been able to hang with the Dragons, but at this point, take a three point lead? I mean, the Wildcats have been playing just at par with the Dragons, if not above. I mean, Henry County shooting 59% from the field compared to South Oldham's 44.4%. And also, Henry County is out-rebounding the Dragons by six rebounds. Dragons come out aggressive offensively, a lot of movement, good spacing, and the first three ball of the fourth quarter is off the mark. And that is why there is a difference on the scoreboard. 11 of 28 now from the three-point line. 28 three-point shots in the first three quarters. Langford, Wicks, Harden, Payton, and Phillips still on the basketball <laughs> court in this second half. Welch has clearly picked his guys that he wants out there. Ryan good strong look to the hoop, but turns the basketball over. I think Ryan wanted a blocking foul there. Montero comes in for the Cats. Kevin Wicks takes a seat. And the Cats still lead, 56-53, 7.20 to play. South Oldham looking a little bit more tired, a little more flat-footed on offense this time in this go-around. A little pull-up jumper there, well off the mark, and Trevor Harden in transition. Harden's going to draw the foul. That one's going to be on number 11, Jason King, for the South Oldham Dragons. So that's his third personal foul. That's the fifth team foul on the Dragons. A little lopsided from the stripes here tonight. Five of five to one. Cats with only one team foul. Seven minutes to play and they still maintain a three-point lead. Looks like Stripes are going to save the turnover on your Wildcats right there, and they're going to get a quick defensive foul on number 22, Caden Brown, a junior for South Oldham. Sixth team foul on the Dragons, and that means the Cats. Whoa, jersey pull there, absolutely. And Trevor Harden's going to go to the line to shoot. No, it's going to be an offensive foul against Harden right there. Oh, that's a terrible call. I mean, he was holding his jersey. Very unsure. Of, I, I didn't even see enough contact there for either side to be called for a foul. That was a 50-50 ball. All was even. Three ball. And that bucket's good. Langford with the late contact there. You can't complain about that call. 56-56. The fouls are starting to match up here. Langford pleads his case, and the four-point play for the Dragons puts them up 57-56. That ball's going to be off a of king. I think Montero may have been held there. but Right now you want somebody to pick up another foul on King. He's killing, he's just killing it on the defensive side and the offensive side right now. That's a player that you just want to see go to the bench at this point. He's making a tremendous struggle for the Wildcats here. Langford just off the mark with that two ball. And nearly gets another foul called on himself. And Coach Welch wants a timeout. Big momentum shift there for the Cats, but they still only trail three. 6.21 to play here at Henry County High School, home of the 8th region. We'll be back on the Wildcats Sports Entertainment Network. Thanks for being with us.
Welcome back to Henry County High School, the Royal Winchester Gymnasium, home of the 8th region here at Henry County. Cats battling through some adversity. Montero, Langford, Peyton, Harden, and Phillips on the court for the Cats in white. McGee, you were saying at the break you like that timeout? Yeah, Wildcats right there in that short minute, 40 second span had two turnovers and didn't hit a single shot. So good call right there by Welch. Try to slow things down, but right now it just seems like your Wildcats are struggling to get something to go here in this fourth quarter. Turnover there from Trevor Harden. And the Cats trail six minutes to play. Another three ball. That was not what you wanted for South Oldham right there. Good transition defense, good finish by Ryan good. Phillips. Ryan Phillips finding the shot to go wide open right there. Good pass. Good drop step there by Ryan Phillips. Easy lay-in. Cats trail one, 59-58, 5.40 to play here in the fourth quarter in this eighth region matchup. Phillips giving a little bit of space right here. Great look. Oh, oh. no, sir. <laughs> I disagree. I think anyone who has a home around Henry County disagrees with that <laughs> call right there. Tough call there on Trevor Harden. Strong James block. Namath just turned in his <laughs> grave after that call right there. First bucket goes. Dragons up two. 60-58, 5.29 to play. I haven't seen Trevor Harden take a break all night, McGee. He has been on that basketball court every minute of every quarter. Dragons hit both free throws at the line. Cranfill two for two at that outing. And the Cats, 525. Plenty of time left in this basketball game. Lankford's going to go to the line for a one and one bonus right there. It's going to be the seventh team foul for the South Oldham Dragons. You know, I just. I'm still struggling to get over that call down there on Trevor Harden. I think Trevor's still kind of laughing about that one. Again, as Scriber would say, you can't take him home with you. And Langford misses his first. And they're going to, yep, looks like the officials are going to talk about it. That definitely was off of a South Oldham Dragon right here. Ball's going to remain with your Wildcats. At the end of the day, that Langford miss isn't the worst thing that could possibly happen. Trevor Harden still trying to will. Number 44, Seth Johnson, is going to check back in, it looks like. And this time he's got his head wrapped up, so in hopes of not having another injury right there. Bit of a strange call there. Langford had the ball in his hand, and the stripes called it off for a substitution. I haven't seen that at the high school level. And... Little safety valve there back from Trevor Harden, and Harden goes to Montero to reset the offense here. Good strong look down low. Gonna get a foul on South Oldham right there. That's gonna be against number 21, Trey Hicks, a senior forward. A little bit too much contact against Harden. So Hicks and Harden battling down low. Harden got that charge call. Hicks this time, it's on him. Eighth team foul, so a one-on-one -on -one as Harden is at the line. And he gets his first. Harden coming up big right there at that free throw. Trevor Harden is at 19 points tonight. He's one for four from the line. He's a 64% free throw shooter, as we mentioned at the top of the hour. And he's off on the second. Looks like some good transition play and a good find on the transition right there by the South Oldham Dragons. They're going to be up 63-59 with five minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Lankford decides to pull it back, slow it down a little bit. A little five out one in motion from the Cats. They trail four, as McGee said, 63-59. And we're nearly halfway through. Nice pass by Montero. Right Montero with a great find to Phillips right there. Great selfless basketball right there. Phillips has got 12, Lankford 13, Harden 19. Haven't seen Kevin Wicks. Love to see him back on that basketball court. He's got 13 for the Cats. And they've got 61 total. Trail two to the Dragons of South Oldham. 4.26 Will, to play. Will Payton with the most difficult matchup on the court right now. Seth Johnson. Oh, gosh. Another 
three ball there from the Dragons. 13 of 30 tonight from behind the arc. Looks like they're starting to find their motion here in the second half after missing several three-pointers in the last quarter. Still a five-point basketball game. Cats trail five with four minutes to play. They're going to get another foul call on number 21, Trey Hicks, for the Dragons. Harden's going to go to the line for a one-and-one one right here. Need any points you can get right here. So Wicks does check into the basketball game. And Trevor Harden goes to the line. Trevor's got 19 tonight, looking for his 20th point. And he gets it. Gets they, to go. They need to make these down the stretch, McGee. So Trevor to shoot his second and better season average of 20 points a game, looking for his 21st point. And he can't get that. Lankford's going to gonna get the offensive rebound, saves it. Wicks is going to take it for himself, and he's going to draw the foul on the way up right there. A little bit of frustration from the south side. I'm not sure if Wicks himself did catch a lot of contact there, but the stripes are going to say otherwise, and he's going to go to the line for two. Bit of a disparage, a disparage here. That's the ten. third straight foul yeah. on Trey Hicks right there. And yeah, that's ten team fouls on the Dragons, and Kevin Wicks was going to go to the line to shoot two. These missed free throws are not going to cut it. That's three out of the last five that they've missed. Four, four out of the last five. You make those four, it's a tie basketball game, McGee, and Wicks gets his second. Looks and like Coach Simpson got the timeout, or did that one go to Welch? I think that was Welch calling a 30-second timeout right there. So Welch calls a 30-second timeout. We're going to do the same. 66-63, Dragons lead your Cats. Four minutes to play in this eighth region matchup. We'll be back in a bit on the Wildcats Sports and Entertainment Network. Welcome back to the Wildcat Sports Entertainment Network. Live here from the Royal Winchester, and we still have a heck of a basketball game here at the home of the 8th region. South Oldham leads 66-63. Missing many of the free throws down the stretch here, McGee. That is the difference in the game. Cats would be leading if they were to better their season average. Yeah, good body foul there from Kevin Wicks. That's his second, team fifth in the second half. And the Dragons back in control. Good sidestep there, good ball movement from Oldham County. And another three ball. That one well off the mark, but got the roll. And as a 14 of 31 three pointing three-point shooting team tonight. They go up 69-63 by six on your Cats with three minutes to play. And South Oldham drops back into a 2-3 zone. No trap this time as they were doing. Three ball from Langford. Langford with the answer. Right back at you, South Oldham. Langford's not going to go down without a fight tonight. Neither is the rest of your Wildcats. 69-66, 2.50 to play. The tension building here at the Winchester. Good defense by Wicks. Oh Terrible. Oh, gosh. Call. It's like the Stripes just looking for anything and everything to call under the basket for South right here. Kevin Wicks, two quick fouls. That's his third, sixth team foul. And South Oldham goes to the line. Up six. Comes a point, you got to say, let the kids play basketball. Langford open again for three, passes it up. There it is. Langford keeping him in the game right now. Hopefully, his three point shot's going to last all night long because at this point, they need it. Ice in the veins for Langford. He's got 19, four of seven from the three point line tonight. And he is willing his Wildcats to a win. Great backdoor cut. Easy finish, too easy for the Dragons. I'm a little confused right here as to why 
Welch has wicks on Seth Johnson, who is about a foot taller than him and who is the best player on the court. Nothing against Wick's defense ability, but I feel like a matchup from Harden would fit that a lot better as both of them are bigger set fellas. So Johnson has the five last to the Dragons points, 74-69, five-point lead, and that's the difference. It's those last five points that Johnson's been able to put up. We're going to keep it here on the Wildcat Sports and Entertainment Network. Again, if you're joining us here late, it's been a heck of a, a basketball game, back and forth. Blow for blow, they're trading baskets, and Langford has had two threes that's keeping the Wildcats close enough to call this a basketball game. Though down five with 218 to play. McGee, your thoughts as we go into the final couple minutes here of this basketball game. I mean, you just gotta find a way at this point to stop the three-point line in general. And uh Seth Johnson too. Seth Johnson's been playing phenomenal. Just got to find a way to shut him down and the three-point line as a whole. Cats still shooting 60% from the field tonight, 27 of 45. Much better than South Oldham, but Oldham still, South Oldham still shooting 48%. 43%, 14 of 32 from the three-point line, 32 three-pointers. 32. 42, oh. Near turnover there. It was a turnover, but South turned it right back over to us. Montero, Harden, Phillips, Wicks, and Langford. Langford here in the corner. They decide to go to Phillips instead. Two minutes to play. Langford's going to go to the line for two. And that's going to be King's fourth foul, too. Yeah. So that's another big area to look at. Langford. Unless they didn't. They did call it on King, correct? Sure. So Langford goes to the line to shoot two there in the double bonus. And he gets his first 74-70. Langford with 20 points tonight. He and Harden carrying the Cats. Wicks has got 14, Phillips right up there, and Potts is gonna check in defensively for the Cats. So Ryan Phillips is gonna take a seat. And Will Potts checks in. Potts wears five in white for your Cats. Two minutes and two seconds to play. Cats trail three. Curious as to if they're going to keep Wicks on Johnson right here. If so, I hope he can get it going against them. Yep, they're going to keep Wicks on Johnson. Johnson's had a phenomenal fourth quarter here. Hopefully Wicks can put a stop to it. And remember, Johnson left the court with blood earlier in the fourth quarter. Good defense right there. Jump basketball. It's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to be Henry County possession here. It was an all-out battle right there. Bodies everywhere. <laughs> Coach Simpson. Coach free, Simpson. Free throw line extended here. He wants to join the fight in the battle. Coach Simpson said, if my players can't come up with it, then I'll go grab the ball myself. <laughs> and he is still, looks like he's a sixth player for South Oldham as far as he's stepping out onto the court. Langford for three. Well off the mark, but Kevin Wicks with a great hustle oh, play. Wicks just too eager with the ball. So Langford short. Ah. Give Langford a break. The kid's feeling a little under the weather. 137 to play. Cats trail three, 74 71 in this eighth region matchup. It's been a heck of a basketball game. Both teams putting forth their best effort. It should be noted that the Dragons are with their leading scorer, Luke Morrison, who is out with the flu. Luke averages 20 plus points a game. Johnson, again, still matched up with Wicks. And a three ball. Oh, that's a gamble you got to take to stop Johnson and just hope that they miss the three. 77 71, six point lead. And Montero dribbles himself into pressure and it forces Enoch Welch to call his timeout. We're going to do the same on the Wildcats Sports Entertainment Network. 77 71, Cats Trail 6, 104 to play. We'll be back in a bit.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Henry County High School, home of the 8th region, and the Royal Winchester Gymnasium. Your Cats trail 6, 77-71 with 104 to play. Cats will have the ball here on the side. Statistically speaking, 17 turnovers on your Cats, and their free throw percentage lower. They're 12 of 20. They missed eight late in the stretch. And still, they're still in it, McGee. They're still in it. They're down six. They got a chance. They're, they're out rebounding the Dragons 26-18 overall. Well out rebounding them on the defensive side of the of the boards. And so here's your last minute here. Eighth region matchup. Cats keep Montero, Langford, Harden, Phillips, and Wicks on the court. They're gonna need a quick bucket here. Yeah, you don't have the time to waste. Langford gets pushed out of bounds. Easy give and go. And the Dragons are starting to pull away, 79-71. I mean, they, yeah, they start to pull away after Langford gets entirely shoved. Langford hits a 50-footer. Trying to keep his cats in at 79-74. We're going to keep it right here. 34 seconds to play, McGee. Give the ball to Langford. <laughs> Ten team fouls on the Dragons, six on the Cats. So that puts the Dragons at the line with the foul. If I'm Welch, I might call, you know, put the pressure. If you can't get the steal in the inbound, they can foul and hope for a miss. Of course, Simpson's probably going to look to put Stragand on the line. You can hope for a miss as they are a 73% free throw shooting team. Seth Johnson is 75% free throw shooter himself, as is Michael. 79-74, Cats tra uh, trail, <coughs> excuse me, Cats trail the Dragons. Henry County uh, bettering the Dragons from the uh, three-point line in terms of percentage, six of 12. Most of those coming from Ethan Langford, one coming from Wicks. We'll see what Welch draws up here. Full court pressure, 34 seconds to play. The Cats need a turnover. It'll keep away, need a foul here. No turnover, he walked. Walk, oh my word. There are, they're gonna you get. can't go on a hike like that and miss that call. <laughs> Kevin Wicks is going to get called for his fourth foul. Team seven. So as we said, that's going to put the Dragons on the line to shoot a one and one and Cranfield's going to take. Well, you got to hope that these one and ones go in the favor of the Wildcats here. Brandon Graves checks in for Will Potts. Of course, Brandon Graves is that sharp, the sharpshooter, so Welch wants a little bit more firepower on the court offensively. And oh. Cranfield gets his first. Dragons have battled here at Henry County. Up six, 25 seconds to play. Still a two possession basketball game. This to make it a three. And that one's off the mark and Trevor Harden gets the board. Langford's probably going to take it for himself here and pull a quick one. Wicks for three. And he gets Wicks fouled. Wicks going to draw the foul. So Kevin Wicks goes to the line to shoot three. Cats still only down six points with 15 seconds to play. First is off the mark. As we had mentioned as we came back with that minute break, they've missed quite a few free throws here down the stretch, and that is the difference. He gets his second. So Wicks two for four from the free throw line tonight. He's got 15 points. Graves takes his seat. Potts comes back in for the defense. And the Cats now trail five. Make that four. Kevin Wicks with his 16th point of the night. And Johnson's going to go to the line. That's who you want at the line, McGee. Remember, he's a 75% free throw shooter. Yeah, we've been the ones missing free throws tonight. Hopefully it can change sides and be south missing free throws. So we got a one-on-one -on -one bonus here for the Dragons. 
Again, as McGee said, 73% free throw shooting team. They're 479 of 748 free throws on the year. And Johnson gets his first to fall. Unofficially, I've got the Dragons as eight for eight from the free throw line tonight. Perfect from the line. 81-76, 14 seconds to play. I believe they missed one earlier. Did the Cats need a miracle here, McGee? No. 82-76, got to push, got to push. Long three from Langford, well off the mark. And Kevin Wicks has called for the foul. I didn't quite understand in the backcourt there, it's almost Montero and Langford weren't on the same page. Montero maybe didn't recognize that there was only 15 seconds left in the basketball game. Kevin Wicks is going to foul out. That's his fifth foul. Kevin finishes with 16 points on the night. Heck of a performance by 14 in white. Remember, he is a sophomore for the Cats. So a bit too little, too late here. The Dragons made a strong run late in the fourth quarter. Stragan hits his first. And his uh, second is off the mark. And Montero's going to throw up a prayer. It's no good. And the Cats, unfortunately, on the wrong side of the scoreboard tonight. 83-76. Cats lose. We'll be back with the thoughts on the basketball game here tonight from Henry County High School. Of course, this is the last live stream event for the Wildcat Sports and Entertainment Network. And uh, we will be back with our final thoughts in the second half. Thanks for being with us. Stay with us. Welcome back to Henry County High School. For the Henry County Wildcats on the wrong side of the scoreboard tonight, 83-76 to a song, uh, strong, sharp shooting. A little alliteration there for you, Biggie. Yeah, South say it Oldham. a second time. Strong, sharp shooting South Oldham basketball team. Oldham was 15 of 33 from the three-point line tonight. Right at their season average, 45.5%. Cats couldn't quite better that at 40%. They were 6 of 15. What did you see there late in the stretch that, and you mentioned the matchup with Wicks, anything else that you saw that where the Wildcats kind of fell short? I just felt like there was, I mean, I could, can't even really say they struggled offensively in the fourth quarter because they got shots to fall. I think a part of it was on the fouling aspect, but a lot of it they didn't even play that physical, you know, just a little bit of a 50-50 call that comes down to what the stripes think and, 
You know, three-point line for South, and then Seth Johnson's phenomenal play tonight. That really hurt. I would add to that that the Cats struggled late down the stretch hitting their free throws, and the Dragons didn't. Uh, they were they were at least eight for eight, if not nine for nine on the night from the free throw line later in the basketball game. And Wicks missed a couple. Langford even missed one. Harden missed a couple. Langford finishes 24 points on the night. He's the Cats' leading scorer. Trevor Harden with 20. Kevin Wicks rounds out the top three. He had 16. And Ryan Phillips had 12, nearly totaling with Montero's two. 76 points for the Wildcats. Wildcats play their first district game against Carroll County. Tough draw in the, in the district. Of course, the hope is for the Cats to win the district or finish top two in order to make it into the eighth region. Eighth region basketball uh, is, of course, hosted here at the Royal Winchester and Henry County High School. McGee, as we close out this final Wildcats Sports Entertainment Network broadcast of the basketball season, any final thoughts as we move into the district and region play? I guess the Wildcats just need to keep playing how they've been playing because they're putting up good points, playing good, competing with teams like South Oldham. So there's no, really no chance that a team could stop them in our district if they continue to play like this. So just hope that Welch keeps up what he's doing and the players keep up their performance. Shout out to everybody who helped out in the Wildcats Sports Entertainment Network this year for the boys and basketball girls live stream. Of course, Mackenzie Roberts, Mr. Cole, Reed Newman, Gunner, Dalton Hudson, Sebastian and others. Shout out to Jackson Scriber, who's at home tonight with his day off. And of course, Luke McGee. We would sure like if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel, YouTube channel WSEN TV. Again, subscribe to the Wildcat Sports and Entertainment Network TV YouTube channel as we will continue to broadcast sporting events and, entertain and entertainment events here from Henry County. Baseball and softball is up next. Again, Wildcats fall short against South Oldham, 83-76, and on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Coach Welch and his Wildcats take on Carroll County in their first district game, and we wish them nothing but the best. Thank you for being with us throughout the season, and thank you for being with us here tonight at Henry County High School, home of the 8th region in the heart of Henry County, Kentucky. This is Coach Cheely signing off.